time here on Dream Daddy and Dad Dating Simulator with the unlikely hero. That's me, Taylor. Mm. And that's Rick. I'm a troll. And without further ado, let's work some magic. Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work with the gr with the greatest of ease. He sets patties on the grill, flourishing as me. he flips his spatula in the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? He's working faster now, effortlessly, effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side. One after another, the dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful technique. Oh, amazing. You probably don't know this, Rick, but Joseph's known around here for his grillmanship. He's ungrillievable. Hey. I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck. I want to give him a cooler voice than I did last time, but I don't know how to. Uh, I mean, if I'm going to romance him, you can just take over doing his voice. Um, that way I'm not dating myself. I don't remember how you did his voice. Uh, horribly. I gotta work off that, right? No, just... Look at him with his dreadlocks and the flower crown I literally just noticed. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. Yeah, I, I, I can work with that. That's fine. Okay. Must we keep talking about this? Can't we just appreciate the art? I've never seen him make a mistake. Oh, hey. Jesus. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. All of these jokes makes me so happy. I fucking hate it. And simultaneously so angry. Please stop. All of the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns in unison. All right, guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. Ha! Uh. Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Yeah. Oh, man. It's so wild how all his dads <laughs> live in the same <laughs> cold as Fucking that. beautiful. I love it. <laughs> kind of nice, isn't it? It's like there's a real community here. Totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. Goddamn cell phones. We're happy to have you here, man. I think you're going to like this neighborhood a lot. Oh. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all the kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make a killing. Hey, why don't you add us on Dad Book? Oh, my God. Dad Book? Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all on it, so if you ever need to reach out to anyone, that's the simplest way to do it. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. Mm -mm. No, it says BBQ. We all trade stories and drink beer as our kids play on the lawn. Cold one with the boys. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmenista and those weird Car twins. No, it's Carmencita. I think they wanted her soul. They got an achievement. Welcome oh. to the neighborhood. Wait, I didn't talk to any of the dads. Fuck. I didn't think burger time was going to skip everything. Man, pretty fun party, don't you think? I think I missed on flirting with Matt. Yeah. Sweetie, if I can impart any sort of wisdom upon you right now, and oh, and not that this was a bad situation, but if you're ever in an uncomfortable situation, always look for the silver lining. The silver lining is get you through to the other side. We ate rockin' burgs today, Ew. and it was good. Why? Amen. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dad Book. Maybe I will, if I ever figure out how social media works. Is this like your, uh, your honey pop thing? Did, what, what did they have? That was like... The girl finder? Yeah. You think the dad book is like the girl finder? Where you oh, can be like, I'm gonna no. hit up Matt and try to get in his butthole. I have a... Ooh. what that mouth do? <laughs> I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, dad. Hmm. 
Amanda and I arrive home with the rem remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm. Seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. Any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah. I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Is that okay? Of course. Just keep me posted. And be home before midnight. You got it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Of course. And call me if you need anything. Dad, you're not going to do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No. I've never done that, and I will never do that. Okay. Do you have any plans tonight? I, uh... My plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna... Ooh, see how long I can sleep. You could throw a party. Maybe you can get Matt to come over. A real rager. All the other dads in the neighborhood are invited. I'll see if I can get you a spot on the list, but honestly, it's looking tight, and you may just have to wait in line. <laughs> I know the guy at the door. I'll get in, no problem. Stop texting! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Great. See you later. I watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. Is she Batman? I plop down and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. I'd love to be able to cook like that. Although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil. Like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food with real nutritional substance. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. Meat Hell. Ugh. That sounds fucking I'm not even diabolical. sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Oh. Oh, no. She's pregnant. Hey, kiddo. You good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand. I'm sure she'll respond soon, unless she's driving home now. In which case, I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. Oh, ice cream sandwich. Ice cream nightmares. It's a little late for this, but ice I... Ice cream nightmares? Yeah. <laughs> but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. Fuck, my phone again. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. She's pregnant. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? <gasps> She's dead and pregnant. Mm, half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only not assuaging my anxiety, but possibly <laughs> possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling. So I keep pacing around the house waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't even even why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is Emma P? <laughs> I decide to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank oh, God, it's her. She's back. Amanda and drunk opens the as door fuck. and shuffles in. Finally. Finally, well. she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. What's up? Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Uh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad oh are you gonna have to yell mm, i think you're gonna have to yell i think i'm gonna have to yell next time just go see what see what's next Ooh, or, just say that say that really stern why didn't you answer my texts okay we can end on that see y'all next time bye bye